This is what it takes to run against Vladimir Putin. Disqualification, prison, and even death. These are the prices Russians have paid to oppose Putin in the 2024 election. In Russia, there's the opposition, and then there's the opposition. For example, the Communist Party has been the runner-up at every presidential election, but their candidate said he won't criticize Putin, while several campaigns were stopped before they even began. Running against the war in Ukraine, Yekaterina Dunsova was disqualified over spelling mistakes in her application. Another anti-war figure, Boris Nadurjan, grew to prominence when thousands signed his petition. But election officials said mistakes left him shy of the 100 thousand signatures he needed to run. But it's not just anti-war candidates. Igor Gherkin ran saying Putin didn't go far enough in Ukraine. He was then arrested and jailed for inciting terrorism. Since his rise in 2011, Alexei Navalny was seen as Putin's only real political rival. Navalny was exiled, allegedly poisoned, imprisoned, and just weeks before the election, he died in Russian custody. Officials say the 47-year-old died of natural causes, but many world leaders aren't convinced. In exile, his wife has urged supporters to protest against the sham election. As Putin prepares to waltz into his fifth term, hundreds of Russian political prisoners are held behind 